This is the Mars Exposition, and we are trying to go into the future and give everyone, like all the parents and students, a peek into the future. This room is the technically the elevator where people are waiting to get onto the shuttle to go to Mars. Agriculture showed us what type of plants would be able to grow on Mars. The other people in, say, food de designed all the food and created it. We're incorporating like a whole bunch of elements like music and fashion and everything like that. This whole uh, gym is what it's going to be like on Mars, so all the politics, all the structures. We're a travel agency and we made a whole bunch of advertisements. We're putting up a display for Mars Venturio, which is technically um, a travel agency that kind of makes adventures to um, blow away stress from moving to another planet in Mars. Um, and if there's a dust storm, you just kind of pull it around you and it lacks. This one is called the Anamaris Rolius, and it rolls over the softer terrain. And this one's a different species, and it's the Anamaris Hoppius, and it hops over the rougher After terrain. After the journey to Mars, you may be like sick or something. You go in here, and it scans your body, see if your like, blood sugar is so low. Basically, it's a train. People would go inside the ball, which is the ping pong ball, and they, it'd shoot them off to where they needed to go. Math, we incorporate like buildings. We have to like make sure they're right dimensions. So you learn about the planets in the solar system. For science, I'm in the structures group, so we had to design a house that would be sustainable on Mars. It's all about how people are going to learn how to get oxygen, how people are going to learn how to get power on Mars. I've learned so much about electricity since I've came here. We're always learning. We're always moving forward in our studying, and so it's very, it's very believable that it might people come in here and might actually think that it's going to happen in 2020. I am just blown away by the creativity and the, uh, and, and you know, the maturity of the students. Facts that they put together, like it makes it seem like it's very real and even possible. That the children have worked together um, on a mass project, so yeah, it's impressive. It's, it's good to see. It's uh, so much imagination here, um, so much thought, so much research and uh, a lot of effort. I'm just stunned by the quality of the work that the kids have done, the effort that they put into their projects, and the variety of projects that all seem so age appropriate. So it's amazing the depth and the interest that the kids themselves have had in these projects. 